Hello, Dana Abercrombie, The Coalition. Thank you so much for speaking to me. This is, oh, this is so absolutely beautiful and needed. And it's queendomship in both animal kingdom and with sisterhood of, of, of humans. So I wanted to know the concept behind this of why it was so important to spotlight women behind the camera and also pack the, the packs of a female lion. You know, the natural history space has been male dominated for so long, not only in who was behind the camera, but also the issues that or the stories that unfolded in front of the camera were so focused on a male perspective. And mm -hmm. so I think that this this story is or this series is something that's not only really new, but something that's really needed. And it's just the beginning, I think. I like that tease very much of it just being the beginning. Um, with this series, uh, what I love is how it weaves together this beautiful story. And so what I want to know is kind of the inspiration of the story within the narration, because you, you're just looking and observing, but you create such a rich story. I mean, I think that's up to Chloe, frankly, you know, she's she wrote uh, the voiceover and and um, and crafted these stories. And I feel very fortunate as her composer to help her create music to support the stories that she's trying to tell within each episode. Um, but that's that's definitely a question for Chloe. <laughs> but with the music, what I was wondering is, because you're also creating a narration too. you guide our emotions and our feelings. So with that, was there particular moments where a certain music would hit you a certain way? I'm, I'm interested in how to craft that with the words. Mm, mm. Yeah, I mean, I think what's interesting about uh, music for nature documentary is that it's really within the fabric of the storytelling, as you're saying. So mm -hmm. it's going to be interacting with voiceover, the edits, um, and uh, it's kind of like this three or four part Rubik's cube that where everything kind of is like handing off one task to the other. It's like a relay race a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. So I feel like as the edits progressed to get tighter and tighter as well, like we would craft and, and the voiceover would craft, you know, kind of get tighter and tighter as well. Um, the music would then have to reflect the, um, I think the impetus and the desire that was, uh, that Chloe was going after uh, with each, with each episode. Um, and frankly, when I'm sitting down and watching it, it's really how I'm feeling too, just as a, as the voyeur and as somebody that's witnessing and then kind of mirroring back my emotional experience within the score. Right, so was the music crafted after everything was done or was Pretty it? much, yeah, the voiceover oh. hadn't been recorded yet. I mean, we had temp, mm -hmm. um, but the edits, yeah, because music is so integral to a lot of the way that things are cut especially for dramatic beats um, and big shifts that episodes were normally locked before I would uh, even come on board to start kind of brainstorming ideas with Chloe. Wonderful. And so I was also wondering, there are different, obviously different characters that's within the animal kingdom that we follow, but does this each one have its own feel and emotion and texture in terms of that music, in terms of how everything comes together? Yeah, I mean, I think there was an intent to have three major buckets of sounds. So lots of voices, a lot of electronic synthesis um, stuff as well. And then some traditional elements as well that I was uh, referring back to, to kind of a nod to the genre as it's existed. Um, but, you know, within those buckets, there's lots of different weird things you can do. Um, and, uh, and mixing and melding those kind of paints together. Um, for me, it was about watching the episode, getting inspired by the visuals, the colors, the stories, and kind of to me, like, how do I interpret that in terms of sound? What's the texture? What's the what's the palette that we're working with? Right. So for both of you, I'm interested in location as well. We're in this, this setting where, you know, to us, we can't get to. So I was wondering, how does the environment really reflect on how the filming process? How does it go hand in hand in terms of creating this show. Uh, so for me, I shot the um, the National Geographic magazine photo story on spotted hyenas that's going along mm -hmm. with the documentary. And so I spent about six weeks um, in in Kenya with the animals, and it was absolutely incredible. 
and in terms of music, how does that, does it, those sounds influence the location? I mean, traditionally, yes. But to be honest with you, I kind of wanted to stay away from that as much as possible. I feel like it's so expected on some level. And I really wanted to do something that felt like it was pushing some boundaries, especially when it comes to having electronic music. I mean, I think there's inevitably some textures that are going to be somewhat mirrored and have some parallels with where things were shot. However, even if I was using a vocal or um, or a drum, you know, any kind of element, I would always try to kind of subvert it a little bit and make it feel like it was, I wanted people to kind of step into our world musically um, and not have it just be location based. It just felt like a challenge to, to try to see if I could find a way in so that it didn't have to be kind of perfectly reflective of location. And for Jen, kind of when shooting for the magazine, I was wondering, is there a particular environment or look or even just um, a place setting that they're in, whether it's hey, killing animals or walking just in by themselves? Yeah, I mean, um, the location is everything. In a photograph, you have to consider more than just the animal. You know, it's the photos in the magazine aren't just these close up photos of hyena faces. It's also about the landscape and it's about how the hyenas interact with the land. So I was definitely looking for spaces um, that were beautiful and interesting beyond just uh, the animals within them. Thank you both for speaking to me. Thank, Thank you, you very much.